Hey everybody, so I have a very special unboxing today and this is my makeshift studio right now. So guys, let's sit down and take a look at this Raven Elite. So, this is a brand new company to our airsoft market. It's called Raven Elite and this platform has a lot of features we're gonna dive right into. Let's start with beautiful art on the box. It's a nice slide off unit and I want to actually talk about how they package this particular gun. I'll pop this up here. This package is actually a gun case. Now, it feels like a pressed foam with a rubberized kind of coating on it, which is very unique because now there's no excuse for you to transport your airsoft gun not in a gun case, which seems to be an issue for some reason for airsofters. So by simply pulling the tabs here, there are four tabs in total. You've now unlocked it to flip open and there's your gun. There is foam inside this foam box. So let's get down to what's inside. All right, so right off the top, we have a beautiful um, catalog here. It's a full instruction manual with it. Um, so it does a velocity test. So that way it can come into Canada legally. It's all checked off and everything. And then we have the operator's manual with all the features inside. Uh, it gives you a breakdown on the box internals, okay? Now inside this box, it is like a neoprene foam, but it also has styrofoam in to give your gun a lot of comfort so you can transport it. This is to get all of you guys started right. And I think this company did it right off the bat. Um, this one's actually wired to Dean's and it has a programmable MOSFET into it. So the programmable MOSFET we will touch on later in the video when I get Techhead to do a full teardown of this gun. We're gonna do open it up and show you what's inside, okay? Now, that's all of the manuals and paperwork that you get in this gun. It's beautiful, it's laid out, it's very clear and concise. And for those of you like me who uh, prefer to do things by picture, it's an option now because everything in here has beautiful pictures on how to do absolutely everything for this gun. So now let's package this away. So that's one set. Of course they include the unjamming rod. Every gun should have one. Over here, now, let's take a look. Standard magazine, this is a 140 round mid capacity mag, okay? Now, they've also included an extra Dean's connector and shrink wrap for your battery, just in case your battery isn't already Dean's. This is a very good upgrade. I'd highly recommend converting all my batteries and my guns to Dean's. I've done it with a lot of the guns on my wall, but for the new players, this is a really good option for you, all right? If you don't want to do that, they've also included a Dean's to Tamiya adapter in this little unit on the side. They've also included an Allen key and an extra butt cap just in case you lose it for your stock, okay? Another option they've also put on here is a flash guard cap. I will never use this, but it is an option. If you're in America, that will probably be orange. What's in this bag here? So, interesting. There are actually grips for your case. So you can actually put grips right on this case so you can carry it easier. So that's a nice feature. I did not know they had grips for the case. Adjustment pads for your case as well, and mounting hardware for your grip. And they also include the star screwdriver to put in and install it all. So that all goes with the case option. That's, they put a lot of thought into just the case for this gun, let alone the gun. Now we get to the piece of resistance. This is the Raven Tactical. Everything on it is metal. Full metal upper and lower receiver, full metal upper uh, rail, 
full metal uh, outer barrel, full metal flash hider that accepts QD suppressors. So all those airy suppressors, you can pop those on. Um, actually, one second. Hey, cameraman, can you please get me an airy suppressor, please? We're going to send them out to get a suppressor. Um, so everything on it is ambidextrous. Right there. Very easy to flick. The magazine uh, release, all right, right here. That's there. And it is ambidextrous on the mag release, too. We're going to pull this back. It has a rotary dial hop-up, which is going to be nice. And based on what I've done on the research, it comes with a 602 type bore inner barrel. I really like that as a functionality. On this back side, we hit the release, and it functions beautifully. Actually, my cameraman's just going to pop into view for two seconds. Thank you so much. So this is a quick detached suppressor. This one's made from Aries. So we're going to pop it on here, pull this up, pop it down and it locks into place. Very easy, very nice. Not a whole lot of wobbly, easy to take off. So you have a lot of upgrading and functionality with this. It has kind of a Magpul stock on it, but there's no trademarks. A fully adjustable with your locker. Flip up sights, front and rear. Again, very nice, standard flip up sights. No locking mechanism to it, but they are fully functional, and actually there's not a lot of play in them either, which is kind of nice. Um, QD mounts. There's a QD mount here, QD here, and QD here, and of course a QD up here. A QD mount is designed to let you uh, put on your sling attachments. You can also mount it to the back of the stock if you'd like. Now, something I do want to point out on this thing is all the texturing that they've done and opening for air portage. They've put air dots up here, they've put some air dots here, and they've actually cut out a lot of recesses in the magwell to make the gun lighter. Uh, they've put an air well in here. All overall, I think this gun's going to have amazing performance out of the box. Um, internally, I know it has a MOSFET again, it has a lot of programmability, and we will talk about that with my technician tech head in the later in this video. Um, guys, I think that overall, it has beautiful trademarks all through here. I'll get a zoom up picture for you. And the gun is really robust. There's no wiggle. The thing you're here shaking is your mag release and the forward catch because there's nothing in it. And then, of course, you got your plate. But besides that, this gun's pretty freaking solid. I'm very happy with it. Let's go do a shooting test and the teardown. Here is the chrono test of the gun on 0.2 gram BBs. And full auto. Not bad. And that is on an 11.1 .1 LiPo battery. Hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed the video so far. This is the Raven Elite. This is the CQB model that we're reviewing. There are, however, a tan version and of course the carbine version. This is a tan. So that way it kind of gives you an idea of the color scheme. They're both beautiful. But we don't want to put on a 30 minute video on YouTube, so please stay with us for part two. And don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you so much.